Hey friends, it's Mohammed Musaddiq. Welcome to my channel Tutorials for Everyone. Guys, today is the second video lecture of F5 training series. Yeah, so in today's video, I'm gonna tell you that how you can set up a management IP on F5. So, uh, before we, we start this video lecture, just a quick reminder of the last video tutorial. In that particular video, we have uh, discussed that how we can download the virtual image of the F5 big IP LTM and then uh, how we can deploy it on VMware so uh, if you have missed that video just you can find it in the i button right at the top right corner of this video so let's get started with today's video so guys let me show you the topology of our lab setup environment in this setup you can see that we have default login and password which is uh, for the CLI and the GUI CLI has a username root and the password default and GUI with admin admin and in this topology, you can see that we have an external network with 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. And we have internal network with the three servers 10.2.0.11, 10.2.0.22 and 33 respectively. So you can see that the external network is connecting on 1.1 interface with an IP of 1.150. And similarly, we have a management IP and from the from the 10.1.0 network and the management IP is 10.1.0.150. And the uh, HA uh, port will be connected to 1.3 with an IP of 10.3.0.150. And similarly, the internal network will be connected on port 1.2 with an IP of 10.1.150. So we are following actually the convention of setting up IP addresses on the interface with 1.150. So that we can remember that what we are configuring. So uh, now I'm going to open up the VM. And this is the place where we have left the last video. And you can see that that uh, once you power on this uh, VM, you can see that local host login, it's asking for the login. So let me write it here, the root and the password default. So I'm, I'm typing the default or oh, maybe I've, you know, misspelled it. Let me try it again. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that now it's asking for changing the password. So I have to change the root password of this VM. And I'm giving it big test at one, two, three, four. And um, I have to confirm it again. Oh, it's taking time. Oh, it's quite simple actually. Let me try it again with the same password. Actually, previously I've given test one, two, three, four. So it says that it's quite simple. Let me do with the complex i have to enter some special character as well and with capital and the lower case upper and the lower case so i'm typing it big test one two three at one two three four so now you can see that the password has been changed now i'm trying to log in it again with new password username is still the same that is root and the password is big test at one two three four here we go just bear with me yeah you can see that i am logging into so i have to now going into the configuration mode to set up a management ip uh, ip config oh i have to type if config maybe yeah this is not an actual command so let me go to the config ethernet zero in order to see that what is the ip address that is currently configured and i have to change it according to my topology you can see that in in the screen so config ethernet zero and you can see that he says that uh, use that utility to add an ip address network and the default route okay i have to press enter select ipv4 ipv6 ipv6 yeah ipv4 and now you can see that the uh, def uh, default ip is configured 1010128 but i have to change it to 1010150 so i have to provide the new ip address here you can use the tab control the tab key in order to move to and fro so 101150 now i have to press ok same submit mask is good that is from the class c and uh, it's asking about the default route no i'm not entering the default route it's asking that you have to set these configurations i have to give him the confirmation yes the, the ip address is correct and the net, net mask is also fine so let let us wait here it will take couple of minutes in order to uh, change these settings once 
uh, the settings has been changed then we'll move forward to next step which is opening up this new IP address on the browser so actually I have to wait a couple of minutes here so I hope you are liking this video if you do please hit the like button and if you do have any queries do mention in the comment section so the configuration has been changed now I'm going to the to open up the browser just open up the browser and before uh, we proceed further just subscribe my channel if you are new and hit the bell icon so uh, let's let's wait to open up the browser probably my system is quite slow so it will take you know some time yeah you can see that browser is opening up and you have to type https colon double forward slash with an ip 1010 150 that's the IP address of our management interface for the big IP F5 LTM so we have to wait a few seconds here you can see that your connection is not private I have to proceed yeah let me do that so it will be redirecting to our main home page of VM you can see that it's redirecting yeah here we go you can see that the home page is there so you have to type username and password as you know that username is admin with the password admin but once you do that it will ask for to change the password as well so welcome to big ip yeah yeah all that stuff so let me do that admin admin login and it will be asking to change the password yeah my current password and I'm, I'm giving the same uh, password here which I've set for the root from the CLI so the GUI and the CLI have, will be having the same password but with different username so I'm giving it here big test at 1234 with B capital as you can set any password but it should be complex with upper and lower case and special characters so I'm just giving it the username and password yeah the password has been changed successfully now I have to log in it again with the new username and password in fact with the new password so it's again redirecting and you will see that we are logging into our new VM and here we go it's been loading and I'm pretty sure that you have liked this video so you can see at the right uh, we can set up the utility and it will proceed for the couple of steps you can see that the license is not yet installed we will do that in the next upcoming video and and you can see that there are multiple options on the left pan so I hope you like you have liked this video please do mention your queries in the comment section thank you so much for watching it stay tuned